Yo, yo, yo. Stay be the villain. How you feeling? Ah, that felt good. Shout out to all my kings and queens out there taking care of yourself, elevating, inspiring, motivating. I love y'all. Thank y'all for being you, okay? Just came back from the gym feeling great, looking great, smelling great. Maybe not too great, but the mantra for March. The mantra for March is March with success and march in your purpose that's it that's all it's very simple just be simple right go get your merch link in the description all right but we are back with another episode of jb talks and we will be talking about belief so i've been doing a lot of studying a lot of researching you know shout out to all my people that be tuned into the streams you know we've been talking a lot doing a lot of different reactions my my brain my horizon is becoming more expanded right and i've been studying a lot of new cultures a lot of new things about the brain you know i'm reading a book right now that's called the power of habit and that book is really good i highly recommend in the beginning of the book it's basically saying how we don't even know most of the time that something that we do on a everyday basis is a habit right and how the brain works and how what we've seen and what we just like almost robotically do, it makes us who we are. But without that, we wouldn't know who we are. You, you feel me? So that book's been great. I've been diving into old, you know, uh, uh, business models and programs and propagandas and agendas and stuff like that. My belief system because I look in the middle, and I say this all the time to y'all, I look in the middle of the word believe, and I see the word lie. So I ask myself, because I study language and syntax and verbiage and etymology, you know, breaking down how words are formed, and I study these things, and I sit there and I ask myself, so we as a people believe in what we don't know. Most times, people want to believe only to hold on to something. Because if they feel like, they feel like if they don't believe in something, then they almost have nothing to live for. And I'm going to just go straight to it. God. Just think about that for a minute, y'all. God. They will say up and down, the Christians, they will say that they know God. God is within them. God is everywhere. God is this, right? And they still remain to go to church every Sunday or listen to, you know, some pastor who got all type of problems and all type of issues, you know, on the phone, right? <laughs> get their online testimony, get their Zoom call testimony, <laughs> right? But they believe in God. People believe in God. They don't know God. They don't know, they don't know that God because what you deem as God, they may, they may not. So whose God is it? Who proclaimed that you are the chosen one? That's some real spooky lostness shit. All right? Real spooky shit. So where I'm at now, y'all, I damn it don't believe in nothing. <laughs> All my belief systems have just gotten like destroyed on purpose and reconfigured. That's all. But what I want to add I want to say that the beliefs that I had and have that are powerful, beneficial, and effective for me and for, you know, other people who I'm around, I translate that into what I know. So when I say I think, I say I know. So when I say I think that you need to, or I think, you know, I know. I'm not talking from a place of, of, of an opinion. I'm not talking out of an opinion. I'm talking based off of what I know, what is factual. You, you tell me how, what percentage of people is going to be that genuine and that authentic where they can put their egos aside, they can drop all of that and they can be like, yo, I do be mistreating girls. I do be mistreating women. I do got an addiction. To, you know what I'm saying? I do got an addiction to porn. I do waste my time all day. I don't go to the gym. I got a beer. Like, who is that? Genuine. It's a very, very, very small percentage of people. And that's why I stay by myself. <laughs> that's why I stay to myself. Why? Because 
people think that, oh, well, you know, that's your opinion. But y'all don't say that when God's involved. That's your opinion. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Is that an opinion? So, why do you think people say you got to believe in yourself? In order to achieve it, you must believe it. Because most people don't know themselves. I'm saying this and I'm 22 years young, y'all. 22 years young, whatever that means, right? <laughs> That's fake. See, that belief system, just because you are 22 years old, you are... Anyway. People say that they believe in themselves. They don't know themselves. Like, do you believe you have a mom and a dad? Do you believe you are white? Do you believe you are black? Do you believe you are... A man? No, you know these things. You know your mom, you know your dad, you know that you're black, you know that you have, you know, eyebrows, earrings, like you know these things. You don't believe in it. I know that I'm drinking a smoothie right now. I don't believe in it. I know myself. I am that I am. That's, that's, it is a deep concept, but that whole consumption of I am that I am, it is an affirmation. It is almost a mantra to me, reinstating that I know myself. I know what I'm capable of. I know my powers. I know my strengths and I know my weaknesses. I know what, you know, can bring me back down to a, a, a lower, lower sense of self. I know these things. I don't believe in them. So now with, with YouTube and Twitch and Kick and making videos and with the merch and doing all these different things, y'all, I know that we're destined for bigger. If you're watching this right now, I know you're destined for something greater. You may believe in it right now or you may not. But I'm telling you, just by the energy and the frequency of life, me talking right now, I'm not talking from a, from a state of opinion. I'm talking from... My soul, my soul doesn't see, souls and spirits don't see black and white. They don't see fat or skinny going to the gym or lazy. They, they, they don't see that. And I'm saying they like it's another person, but y'all know what I'm saying. Your spirit and your soul is another entity in itself. That's why you can feel somebody's passion, feel somebody's heart, feel somebody's integrity because it's a staple. It's a staple, bro. You, you know what you got to do to take out a staple? In a wall, you got to get a knife, get a fork, get some, uh, one, you know, one of those little staple jants and go to the wall and look at, like, it's, and it, hey, it takes a minute to get a staple out. It takes a minute, right? And so, I'm really just challenging y'all. Really. I'm really challenging y'all. Question life. Question what you believe in. Question, who told you? What perspective was that person coming from that they taught you to believe in this? To believe that fear is bad? To believe that power is good? To believe that money is great? To believe that money is the root to all evil? Who told you these things? Where was their perspective coming from when they told you that? This is how you become a deep thinker. This is how you become a free thinker. It has to be, it has to be in you, bro. It has to be, you know, your, your, your daily consumption. You know, you're not, you're not consuming things that are negative towards your, 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 your progression. You feel me? You're not, you're not consuming those things because they're not doing you anything but bad. They're, they're doing you more harm than good, right? What you put into your body is what you will get out. You will get tired if you go to the gym. Okay, you go to the gym, cool. But what do you put into your body? Candies all the time still? Come on, bro. You see what I'm saying? So, where my mind has been at, I am just questioning a more mature sense of life. That's all. That's all. I am a detailed individual. And I want to touch upon this real fast. They say that God doesn't give anybody something that they can't handle right and this is what i've been thinking because you know i spend 98 percent of the time by myself right not talking just listening and thinking and i fast a lot i fast with food 
speech. Let's say that is correct. God doesn't give anything to anybody that they couldn't handle or he deems they couldn't handle, right? So when we are in high school, you guys who are in high school, college, same thing. Me, him, him, and her are all going through the same things, but those three people feel the need to come talk to me. Wait a minute, something I added up. So if we're all going through the same things, our parents are too strict, we feel like we don't have a life outside of school, we can't do nothing else, can't go to parties, can't do nothing, they just on our ass all the time, right? We all go through the same things. If God does give the battles to his strongest soldiers, why do all the other soldiers come to me? And I'm going to tell you why. God, God knows that you are better to deal with problems than they are. So who was really chosen? These are just questions. I'm not, there's no, maybe there's no right or wrong answer. These are just questions here. If we're all going through the same problem and y'all feel the need to come to me and talk to me, what does it say about me? And I'm going through the same thing too. So I don't want to put my problems on to you because we're going through the same thing. We are going through the same thing. I don't want to put my baggage on to you, but you feel the need to do that with me. Because in your heart, in your spirit, you know that I am more susceptible to dealing and managing your problems because I know how to manage and deal with mine. Where did that come from? These are just questions, right? It's all a battle. Life is a gym. Life is a game. Life is a video game. You know? All of it is a gym, bro. You can't just work out your muscles, you know, you got, this is, a, this is the, one of the biggest muscles right here. Work this out. Nobody stretches y'all's brain at all. And y'all don't want to be. Y'all don't want to be pushed outside of your comfort zone. Y'all don't want to be. Because when y'all do, y'all get agitated. Y'all quit. Y'all pout. Y'all complain. Y'all make excuses. Okay, well, let's do it again. All right, cool. You in one time. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, man, my back, bro. You know, my legs was hurting after the last workout, you know. Yeah, I got to stretch. You don't, you don't even stretch. You sit around watching Netflix, eating potatoes. So, to conclude this video, man, I'm letting y'all know, I'm informing y'all that what you believe if it is conducive and beneficial towards you, your family, your loved ones, those who you care about, transfer that into what you know. This is what I know. This is what I know. But if it's something that you just want to hold on to dear life to, cool. But do not press that onto other people. Like, I get it. Like, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I would date a chick who was somewhat religious. I would. As long as she is a free thinker and she doesn't get triggered by t uh, conversations like this, I would. But you ask a religious person, <laughs> I'm atheist, I'm crazy. I'm, yo, bro, y'all don't know how many times I've gotten, are you atheist? Do you believe in the devil? Oh, you too much. You too problematic. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. So, challenge your brain, y'all. Test your brain. Put your brain in that mental gym, in that esoteric spiritual gym. Stay focused. Stay consistent, persistent. And always, always, always live with integrity, morals, values, and principles, all right? It's God's way. It's God's way or the highway, man. No pun intended.